Welcome back to the Jack. We've got Gunslinger Hell on Earth Monster Ball. Ooh. I got uh, I got D and D tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. 10 a.m. or 8 a.m. or whenever I uh, play it. I'm not actually sure. But we got D and D tomorrow, so I'm super excited about that. We uh, we played fairly recently, but uh, they went off track pretty hardcore. So uh, I haven't had to really put anything together. I, uh, I'm gonna see about getting a little bit of uh, of some fun stuff maybe uh, planned out for it, but um, like uh, some some figurines and whatnot, so to make them all a little bit happy with their uh, with their performance. Maybe make a new uh, a new uh, what you call it a new. Um, I can't think. I can't think of words. The uh, the table. I've been wanting to make a new table for a while because the uh, the one that we have right now is a little bit underwhelming, but uh, also kind of fine. But it's it, it takes a little bit too long to load in, and I just want to make sure that everybody's having a good time in the, in tabletop simulator, and uh, they're able to load it and not lagging and all that, which kind of is happening right now. So. Oh, excuse me. I think I, I think I'm mute. Oh, you know, it's always uh, whenever you sneeze, you always got two sneezes coming up, right? You never have just one sneeze. It's always the two sneezes for me, anyway. Sometimes you have like a three sneezer, but never, never a one sneezer. Never a one sneezer. Always, uh, always at least a two sneezer. Always at least a two sneezer. Why are there so many? And why is my phone doing that noise? What does that noise even mean? I don't even know what that one means. I have no idea what that noise means. My, uh, I have, uh, I like chicken broth, right? I'm a, I'm a, I, I try to be a, a vegetarian with my, um, to, to the, to the best extent I can be, right? Um, I think that, uh, largely. Every everybody can do with uh, with reducing the amount of uh, of meat that they consume, and I try to uh, try to follow that principle and and uh, eat as little meat as I can. So once I get my new fridge, I'll, I won't really be buying much meat, um, because I just you don't need it. Like you can you can eat vegetarian food just fine. It, it tastes good, and if you want to eat meat, I don't I don't judge you. But uh, for me personally, I um. I just I, like honestly, I think that uh, like if if, you, if you're gonna say, hey, do you want like a, a big fat steak, or do you want like the ballinest salad that we ever had? Like if I go to a restaurant and they're like, yeah, we got a thirty dollar steak or a thirty dollar salad, I'm like, yo, what the heck is a thirty dollar salad? I want that, and it'll probably taste better than whatever the steak is. Cause I mean, I don't know. With the uh, when you when you're doing meats and stuff, you can only do so many different things, right? Like at the end of the day, what you're eating is a steak, and no matter what you do to it, what, what you're eating is a steak, and it does it. Does, you you can do whatever you want. It's a steak, right? And it'll taste like a steak, and you can't you can't stop that. So uh, for for me personally, the 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 non meat options just they they have more I don't know more options more variety. Like uh, for 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 eating meat for eating meat in your your diet, you know, you can be like, hey, if, if you're if you're somebody like my uh, my parents won't consider it dinner if there isn't meat, right? And if if you're somebody like that, then uh, you you you're missing out on the options, right? You're losing out on uh, on some some tasty stuff that you could be having, because uh, you know, what if you want to have something that isn't that doesn't have meat in it, like a, a really ballin' salad, right? Like. You can't, you can't do that. Like you're just ruling it out, which uh, is just silly to me because uh, you're, you're limiting it to like basically three different foods, right? You're gonna have pork, you're gonna have beef, or you're gonna have uh, chicken. And uh, if you don't have one of those three things, then it's not food. And uh, to me, it's just silly because. That, the, that that limits your options so much. So uh, to me, the the vegetarian lifestyle just has more variety in it, and I don't like exclude um, meats, right? I uh, I'll still have like chicken nuggets or something if I go to McDonald's or whatever. I'm not passionately 
Like, oh, I haven't had meat in like six years or whatever. Like, I don't, I don't care about that. Um, but uh, anyway, so I have chicken broth. I like chicken broth a lot. I, I really, really, really like chicken broth. It's uh, it's a fantastic thing to have. If I'm ever making like a, a pan sauce or something like that, I'll throw some chicken broth in it as uh, as the uh, to, to kind of to glaze the pan a little bit, kind of, um, just to get like a, a nice base for the sauce. If I'm doing like rice or something like that, I'll often put like chicken broth in instead of uh, of water. Give it some nice flavor. I like. Uh, I like chicken broth, right? It's good. So it's a nice thing to have, and uh, so I always, I always keep uh, a couple things of chicken broth in it. I want to make my own, but that's that's a lot more complicated. So I, I don't normally. And then like the the thing is, is I don't care to buy like a chicken stuff to to be able to make chicken broth. You know, I just I don't I don't care to to do that. So. I never have the supplies to make chicken broth, and uh, it uh, just doesn't doesn't quite work out that way, you know. That's okay though. Um, but my mother used up my chicken broth the other day to make uh, like some chicken rice soup, and uh, it's it's one of my favorite soups by far. So it's a really, really, really delicious soup. Um, but she didn't like it when she made it. She never likes it. I don't know why she makes it. She'll be like, oh, we're having chicken rice soup today. And then she'll make it. She'll be like, I don't like this. I'm like, I know you don't like it. Why are you making it? Um, but anyway, so she didn't she didn't like it. And uh, so I got to eat it all, right? But she used my chicken broth for it. She just didn't know it was my chicken broth. Which is, uh, you know, a little bit annoying. But, like, oh well. So I ended up, uh, I ended up eating all the chicken soup because nobody else in this household likes it. I'm like, well, I guess, I guess I'll eat a lot of soup for the next like few days, <laughs> like, and then eat a lot of soup. I did, and it was delightful. But uh, I didn't realize that she used my chicken broth until after I was done with eating all of the chicken broth or all of the chicken soup, and uh, I went to go make some rice, and I didn't have my own chicken broth. So I'm like. Where'd the, where'd the chicken broth go? She's like, oh, that was yours? <laughs> I used it for the soup. I'm like, oh. Well, shoot, that sucks, but oh well. So she felt like super, super bad about it because she didn't want to use, she doesn't want to use my stuff up like I paid for it, right? But I'm like, I don't really mind because I'm the one that ate all the soup. <laughs> like, it's, uh, it's a fair trade <laughs> to me. I, I got I, my, my my broth went to a to a good place. Um, anyway, that's that's the chicken broth story. That is the chicken broth story. I'm thinking I might make a new table for the D and D group in the tabletop simulator. Just to keep people, uh, you know, a little bit more well off on it. Yeah, it might be a good thing to do. Could be a good thing to do. Anyway, I'm not sure what I want to do with it. Though is the thing. I'm not sure how to make a table either. I'm not sure how to make a custom table, but I want. I want to try. I want to get into scripting and tabletop simulator. I've done a little bit, but not much. And uh, it's like it's kind of okay. We're just gonna die immediately, hey? That's that's cool. Sure. Okay, okay. Um, I've done a little bit of scripting, but not much. And uh, I don't, I don't, I mean, it's Lua, I believe, which uh, I don't particularly like. I don't like Lua as a, as a language. As a, I, don't, I don't like it at all. I think that it's the worst language there is. I mean, you know, of the of the usable languages, i.e. not the, the, like, functional languages, like Pascal or whatever, which are just absolutely useless. They have no purpose existing. I'm sorry if you're if you're a fan of the the Haskell and the whatever else, then uh, I'm sorry, but you're a fan of a bad team. You're, you're on the you're on the losing team. Okay, it's useless. Other than like uh, a display of courage and uh, stupidity, I guess. But 
It's not. That's not very good. You don't. You don't have any. You need the object oriented if you want it to be good, in my opinion. Or at least capable of uh, implementing object oriented. And even if it doesn't have it, I need to be able to make it myself in the language. If I can do that, then it's fine. Which is why Rain Meter is the better language than Haskell. Anyway, it's Lua. And the reason I hate Lua is because it's, uh, it's it, the array start at uh, at 1, which is garbage. And I get a billion off by 1 errors. And it's super frustrating. Because every time I try to access a, an array, or I think they're called tables in Lua, because like the entire language is just garbage. Um, I access like the, the first element by going 0. And it's like, meh. Like, what do you mean, meh? Then I go meh. And then it goes meh. It's just it's just a bunch of baby talk at each other, and uh, eventually I win because I uh, I'm a human being, and Lua is nothing more than a concept and an, an idea, a bad one. And uh, it can't possibly compete with. Uh, why are you enraged? Oh, because I turned off the fire, and I enraged the scrape. Hey, okay, don't turn on the fire, okay? The fire is a bad idea. Future me, fire bad. Okay, this is, you know, we're, we're cavemen over here. We've learned that fire is bad. Fire is dangerous. Why do you use your head dip so far down? I'm, like, tilting right now. I'm tilting hard. Okay? You guys have to go. And I have to leave. I'm tilting hard right now though, man. It feels bad. It feels bad. I hate when I know I'm tilting and I just I can't do anything about it. I just, I can't possibly untilt myself. I'm just I have to accept that uh, we're probably going to die a horrible painful death because I just I can't possibly aim. I can't just chill out, dude. I can't chill out, dude. I can't chill. It feels bad. I think it was, uh, I just played the, um, the Amberjack tries for tomorrow. It was another first person shooter, and the sensitivity was different, you know? So I feel like I'm kind of messed up from that, maybe. I feel like that might be messing me up a little bit. Because I'm getting messed up by something here. And it's tilting me, man. It's tilting me horribly, horribly badly. It's terrible. I haven't seen a tilt like this since, well, like, yesterday, <laughs> on the on the on the evacuation point. I don't know if that one was tilt. I don't know. I don't know if that one was was really tilt. So I've got uh, the tabletop simulator table that I have for the D and D group right now. I'm like all over the place today. I'm sorry. But uh, the, the, the table I have for them t right now is uh, they've all got their own little like segments on the table and uh, then they have like a notepad and calculators and all this kind of stuff. But we're slowly adding more and more to it and it's, it's, it's growing past the point that like their thing exists really and I feel like it would be a good idea to just get uh, something a little bit more streamlined and maybe put them all on one side together. Maybe, I don't know. Because right now we've got, uh, like, I'm drawing on the table, right? And then they have their own, like, pages and, and all their stuff, which is facing, like, the other way, right? So, like, half of them are on the table the right way and then half of them are on the table the other way because that's how it works. But uh, maybe I can, I can kind of, okay, let me out. Maybe I can kind of, like, topple that on its, uh, you know, kind of, kind of undo that and make it uh, so that they're all on the same side. That way they can all see the uh, the drawings and their character sheets and all of that a little bit more clearly. I also want to make maybe custom character sheets that are a little bit more detailed. Um, I'm not sure. There's a, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do. I just I don't know how to do it all. And I think it involves modeling. Like hopping into Blender and actually like modeling stuff out and doing artwork and all that. And I'm like, I just, I'm not good at that stuff, you know? Like I guess I don't have to do artwork, right? 
Or I don't have to do modeling. I can just uh, make it like a flat page, I guess. And then I would have to do like the artwork, but I could, I could, you know, kind of just kind of steal artwork from other uh, people. I'm good at that. I'm fine at that, I guess, but I don't know. There's uh, there's lots to think about. A lot to think about. I want to make sure that my players are having the best experience they can have, though, you know? That's what it boils down to. It's a lot like uh, recording video, honestly. There's a lot of thinking about uh, stuff and making sure that everything's going well. Okay, wow, hello. I think there was another one, right? There was, there was three of them, right? No, only the two? Or I killed one, maybe? Mm, doesn't seem like I did. Doesn't seem like I did. Maybe we got some Scrakes. No, just uh, some slow boys over here. Maybe one Scrake over, over here? Where are you, buddy? Oh, you're right here! Hello! How's it going, bud? So I'd like to, I'd like to try and work something out there. I want to get uh, like proper, I don't know, dice towers for them as well because I know that one of them has a dice tower that they like, and I'd like to give them a little bit more freedom with their dice tower and a little bit more control over it, and uh, give them all dice towers, and uh, yeah, lots of lots of lots of things to think about. So we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. How you doing, buddy? Ooh, boy. Flesh pound. Yeah, bring it. I'm gonna I'm gonna camp here, okay? And nothing will make it to me. Everything will be destroyed. On site. Okay, I lied. But you knew I lied. I'm still camping here. Don't think I'm not. Don't think you escaped me. You did not escape me. I should also probably be using the uh, the Glock. Since this is a little bit uh, better at clearing out these trash mobs. Wow, we got uh, some boys right here, eh? Wow, we got a lot of boys. What the heck? Wowza. He just got swarmed. What the heck? Why is my why is my mouse going up? Why is my mouse going up? That was not me, okay? Whoa, baby. <laughs> Woo. That was some you know, I was tilted at the start of this, uh, but I think I just... I think I just untilted it pretty good there. Yeah? <laughs> Ooh, baby! I believe I just untilted that. Right there. That was, uh, that was, that was really satisfying. Oh yeah, yeah, it was satisfying. It was good. Okay, it was it was really good. Okay, you have to uh, you have to all die, okay? I can spray a little bit. It's fine. We have uh, we have the ammunition to spray. I'm not concerned. Whatever you are, you're nothing. You're nothing in front of me when I'm untilted. You understand that? What I tell you? What I tell you? Nothing. God gamer, that's what I am. All right, all right, all right. Let's get going. Let's finish this up. 
That was a satisfying round, though. To just so definitively untilt. Where are you, buddy? There you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna knock this off because I actually I want your I want your belly to be visible. Okay, I want your belly to be visible. I want your belly to be visible. We're gonna just run through here and get the uh, the fire on to get rid of all them poops. I want the belly visible, and then we uh, we we just kind of unload into you, and uh, you are nothing in front of. Uh, the Glock. You are nothing in front of the Glock. You understand me? Okay, I want to get back around to uh, the fire there, so we're going to just kind of do a quick little run around here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kind of want to go and, like, trap him in the cage, but I also kind of don't, you know? See you, buddy. It's nice knowing you. Dusted. <laughs> I gotta say, I untilted pretty well there. Definitely untilted. Money, that felt good. That was that was well needed, you know. It was well needed. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if anything, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.